Hello students, as you all know, uh, we have started a series of uh, Indian drainage system, Indian river systems and uh, I told you that every day we are going to discuss about uh, one particular river which is major in India as well as Karnataka uh, in its point of view, we are trying to discuss Karnataka rivers also. In that sense, uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, we discussed about what? We discussed about uh, something called as uh, Godavari river in uh, detail and Krishna river in detail. Along with them, we discussed about so many other rivers which are present uh, in Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand. But the rivers which are very much important for Karnataka point of view, they are, there is a uh, very tributary of uh, Godavari called as Manjra, about that we have read. And, uh, and the most important river if you consider Karnataka point of view, it is Krishna. We have discussed about that yesterday. And today what are we taking is? We are taking a very important river in the southern India as well as southern Karnataka and that particular river is Kaveri. I hope you understand. See Kaveri. If you concentrate on the Kaveri map, it is like this. In that sense, pay attention. The length of the Kaveri river I have written, it is 805 kilometers. I hope you understand. See, uh, when we started this particular course, we started with Ganga river and I told you that particular river has a length of 25 25 kilometers and then we then the second day we uh, discussed about godavari river and the length of godavari river i told you 1465 kilometers and then once again i discussed about krishna river the length of krishna river it is 1400 kilometers similarly the length of kaveri river it is given it is 805 kilometers that is a very important fact i hope you understand what it is now concentrating on kaveri river First of all, I told you, see, I told you, concentrate, see, pay attention. See, first of all, whenever we try to read a river, try to analyze a river, we need to know what? We need to know its source point, source point. After understanding source, we need to know its mouth point. Can you concentrate on mouth also? See, concentrate on mouth, mouth point. After that, if you ask me, uh, concentrate. There are important left bank tributaries and right bank tributaries. I hope you understand that one. After that, concentrate. See, we need to understand something called as important hydroelectric projects or dams. Dam constructions we need to see. Important dams. This is what our curriculum uh, when we try to study about Kaveri River. It is like this. We need to understand first of all source. So, considering Kaveri river, first of all, I want you to understand, pay attention. See, I am trying to draw something called as India here. Pay attention. See, we have got India. This side uh, white page, I am taking it as uh, India like this. Concentrate. This is India. Okay. Uh, Peninsula India it is. Now, pay attention. Peninsula India. If you concentrate on Peninsula India, here we have got Western Ghats, concentrate. See, these are Western Ghats like this, Western Ghats. And uh, we have got uh, Eastern Ghats, Mahindragiri Hills, Nallamalla, Palkunda and Javadi and Shivrai. Concentrate on this. See, these Western Ghats in Maharashtra, we are calling that as Sahyadri Hills. And in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, we are calling that as Nilgiri Hills. And in Kerala, we are calling them as Kadamam Hills or Annamela Hills. I hope you understand. See, these are the synonyms that we have for Western Ghats in those states. In that sense, can you concentrate on this? See, this particular Eastern Ghat, Eastern Ghat is not continuous like this. Pay attention. Western Ghats looks very continuous. There is no gap in between two important hills. Now, pay attention. If you concentrate on Eastern Ghats, we have got so many gaps. Gaps in between this and this, this and this, and this and this once again. In that sense, see, what am I trying to say is, Almost all the rivers which are flowing towards Bay of Bengal, they are originating from Western Ghats. In the similar manner, the Kaveri River which is flowing towards Bay of Bengal, it is originating from Western Ghats in Kodugu. This is a district called as Kodugu, Kodugu in Karnataka. I will write Kodugu in Karnataka, in a place called as Talakaviri. Talakaviri. The source point of Kaveri River is called as Talaka, Talaka, Kaveri. 
and the Talakaviri is present in a dish called as Kodugu of Southern Karnataka that we need to understand. This is up to it. See if I concentrate on this, pay attention. If I concentrate on this, this particular hill range is nothing but Baba Budangiri Hills and Western Ghats. Western Ghats uh, in Kodugu, concentrate in Kodugu, I am calling that particular hill ranges as Talakaviri Hill Complex. From there, Kaveri River is originating like this. Uh, you can concentrate on this black line is Kaveri River like this. And ultimately, it is making a delta near Bay of Bengal, near Puducherry. I hope you understand. Okay, pay attention. We could be able to understand what is source. If I concentrate on source, source I can write saying Tala Kaveri and it is present in Kodagu. I can write like this. Okay, after that, concentrate on the same map. We need to know something called as mouth. Can you concentrate on mouth? Where it is draining itself into. That we need to understand. In that sense, it is draining itself into something called as Bay of Bengal. If this is a political map, I would certainly write this is a Tamil Nadu. After that, if you concentrate, this particular part, I will take this particular marker, pay attention. See, this particular part, this part and a bit of a this part. This part and this part are a parts of Puducherry. In Puducherry, if you concentrate, there is a very good port city called as Pumpuhar. Pumpuhar. And this particular name is very important just because UPSC has already asked a question on Pumpuhar. If you concentrate on ancient history and medieval history, uh, there is an age called as Sangam age. Under Sangam age, we see three important dynasties in the southern India. They are called as Chola, Chera, Pandya. When you concentrate on Sangam age, the most important uh, port, if you, if you ask me, then that particular port in the southern India, it was Pumpuhar. Pumpuhar. Hope you understand this. See, that significant it is. Pumpuhar is very, impo very important. We need to remember that. And the very mouth of the Kaveri River ends at Pumpuhar, Bay of Bengal. So, I can write, if you ask me the mouth of Kaveri River, I can write, see, pay attention. Pumpuhar, Bay of Bengal. After this, pay attention. We could be able to understand this much. Then, if you ask me, uh, what is the next heading that we have? We have got left bank tributaries and right bank tributaries. Concentrate on this. Concentrate on this particular image. See, we have got left bank tributaries. The northern tributaries are my left bank tributaries. And the southern tributaries are my right bank tributaries. In that sense, left bank tributaries are going to be, here we have got a, a river called as Himavati. This is Himavati. I hope you understand. See, light blue color they have mentioned. That particular river is called as Himavati. Before that particular river, there is a less important tributary called as Harangi. I hope you understand that. See, there is a tributary called as Harangi. And then comes Hemavati. And then if you concentrate on this, this particular river is called as Shimsha. Shimsha. After that, this particular river is called as Arkavati. Arkavati. After that, if you concentrate on major tributaries, then there is a tributary here called as Adyar. I will try to write that particular thing in black. See, I am writing Adyar. I am writing Adyar. I hope you understand. See, these are the five, imp four, uh, five important tributaries which are left bank tributaries for Kaveri River. And they are Harangi, Hemavati, Shimsha, Arkavati and Adyar. These are the left bank tributaries of Kaveri. If you ask me the right bank tributaries, then can you concentrate on this? This particular river is called as Lakshman Tirtha. Now this one is called as Kabini. This one is called as Suvannavati. And this one is called as Bhavani. And this one is called as Noyal. And this one is called as Amaravati. These are the right bank important tributaries for Kaveri. And they are, once again, I am trying to repeat them. See, this one is Lakshmana Tirtha. And this one is Kabini. And this one is Suvarnavati. After that, this one is Bhavani. After that, this one is Noyal. And then it is Amaravati. This we need to remember. I hope you understand. These are the important left bank as well as right bank tributaries. We need to remember them. At any cost, they are going to ask you the tributaries of Kaveri and they may even classify those tributaries into two, left, left bank and right bank. I hope you understand this particular point. After that, pay attention. If I concentrate on this particular map, pay attention. Whatever red color that is there, that particular state is Karnataka. In green color, it is Tamil Nadu. In yellow color, it is Kerala. If you concentrate on that, can I say this particular river somewhere touches Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu 
and a union territory called as Puducherry. I hope you understand this, this particular point. See what I told you is just now I explained something called as the extension of Kaveri river basin and the extension of Kaveri river basin is made in Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. Okay, if I, in that sense I am writing basin is extended in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Puducherry. Okay, in which particular state the basin is extended more? If they ask you, then you have to write Tamil Nadu. By observing this particular map, we understand that the basin of this particular Kaveri river is more covered in Tamil Nadu than it is covered in uh, Karnataka, than in Kerala, than in Puducherry. This is how you have to arrange them. I hope you understand what it is. Okay, after that, if you concentrate on this, concentrate. See, uh, I'm I'm trying to write important dams that we have. Important dams in the sense, pay attention. Important dams. Can I say uh, this particular place is Mandya? This particular place is Mandya. Soon after Hemavati and Lakshmartirth join Kaveri River, there is a very good dam called as KSR Dam. KSR, Krishna Raj Sagar Dam, or KRS Dam. Okay, I hope you understand that. See, I'm writing it once again. Okay, K R S, Krishna Raj Sagar Dam. I hope you understand. That particular dam is present in Mandya, Mandya district of Karnataka, just above Mysuru. That we need to remember. See here, we have got Mysuru. At very, very close to the bank of Kaveri, we have got Mysuru. But this particular area, he comes under Mandya. And that K R S dam is present in Mandya district of Karnataka. Okay, after understanding that. Some less important uh, hydroelectric projects or dams they have created. Pay attention. There is a dam on Him Himavati River called as Himavati Dam, and there is a dam called as uh, Kabini Dam, Kabini Dam on Kabini River. Okay, the the name itself suggests that the Kabini Dam is present on Kabini River, and Himavati Dam is present on Himavati River of Kaveri. If you concentrate on KRS, KRS is present in Mandya, and KRS is very very important. If you ask me. The next most important dam that we have on Kaveri, then that particular dam becomes Metturu Dam. Concentrate. Concentrate. Soon after Arkavati joins here in Tamil Nadu, we have got a dam. We have got a dam, and this particular dam is called as Metturu Dam. Metturu Dam. I hope you understand. See, uh, now once again, uh, the Kaveri River is very much in tussle in between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. As well as with Puducherry, just because Kaveri River is the most important river when considering Southern Karnataka and the whole Tamil Nadu. Whatever drinking water purpose they are using, the water of Kaveri and irrigation water, uh, irrigation purpose, whatever they are doing, agricultural drinking water purpose, they are doing with with the help of river of uh, water of Kaveri. So this becomes very important considering Southern India, and there is a tussle in between Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry. On the river called as Kaveri River. If you concentrate on this, soon after Arkavati comes and joins Krishna uh, Kaveri, there is a district called as Ramnagar, Ramnagar in Karnataka, and Karnataka government proposed to create a hydroelectric project called as Mekidatu, Mekidatu, a dam. They want to construct here, exactly in Ramnagar. They want to uh, create a dam called as Mekidatu, Mekidatu Dam. That we must understand. See, as Karnataka government wants to uh, provide that particular water uh, reserve because of Mekidatu Dam, that particular water must be provided to uh, Bengaluru city, Mysuru, and uh, the vicinity districts. They want to send that particular water for drinking water purpose. As a result, uh, this particular uh, dam is proposed one, and they have not yet constructed it. As a result, this particular dam is very much in use. And if they are going, if they are going to ask you MCQs on Kaveri River, then there is a definite question on this particular dam, Mekidatu. I hope you understand. Mekidatu, this particular uh, hydroelectric power project is present in. They have they have proposed it in Ramnagar district of Karnataka. That we need to remember, and that is it. That is on the bank of Kaveri. This is what we need to remember. After that, okay. This is about it. If you concentrate on this. I have explained all the things. Important dams are KRS dam, KRS, 
and uh, the one more important dam is called as Metturu Dam. I hope you understand that. Metturu Dam in Tamil Nadu, Kiaras Dam in Mandya of Karnataka. Then left bank tributaries are Harangi, Hemavati, Shimsha and Arkavati and Adyar. And right bank tributaries are Lakshmana Tirtha, Kabini and if you concentrate on this, see Kabini, Suvanavati, Bhavani, Noel and Amaravati. That we need to remember. This is how we need to analyze a map of Kaveri river. Okay, concentrate on this. Clearly, I have explained everything I think. See, concentrate on this. If I rub this off, I want to remove this. See, concentrate clearly on this. This particular hill range is called as Nandi Hills. Nandi Hills. And this particular hill range is called as Shivrai. And Shivrai is the southernmost part of Eastern Ghats. I hope you understand. This is the Shivarai range which joins Nilgiri in Karnataka. It is extended like this. I hope you understand. The Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats, they are integrating at a place called as Nilgiris, like this. They are extended, they are connecting themselves here. Wherever we have discontinuity, there the river flows. I hope you understand what it is. After that, we have got Javadi ranges here. We have got uh, Nallamalla. After that, Palkonda. After that, uh, Mahindragiri. That we need to remember. Mahindragiri is in Andhra Pradesh as well as Odisha. Okay, now pay attention. Okay, after doing this, concentrate. What do we have? Pay attention clearly. Kaveri River, I told you, it is 805 kilometers. If you concentrate on origin, I have written Talakaveri of Western Ghats in Kodugu districts of Karnataka. After that, I talked about mouth also. The mouth is Pumpuhar. I told you, very significant matter about Pumpuhar port. Pumpuhar is very much significant, significant when considering ancient history and medieval history. This particular port is in uh, continuous news because they want to uh, once again construct that, reconstruct that and they want to develop this particular port. Okay, after that, Mouth is Pumpuhar port and Bay of Bengal. After that, what do we have? We have Basin. Basin, Kaveri Basin is covered in what? Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala and Puducherry. I told you, Tamil Nadu has got highest area of Kaveri Basin. After that, if you concentrate on important dams, there is a dam called as KRS Dam, Krishna Raja Sagar Dam, which is present in Mandya. And then, you have got what? Metturu Dam in Tamil Nadu. After that, uh, this particular point is very, very important that we need to understand. Pay attention. See, concentrate on this. Okay. Okay, pay attention. See? Now, we have got India like this. Yesterday also, I repeated this thing. If this is India, uh, we receive, see during summer solstice, we will be having something called as southwest monsoon. June 15 to September 15, we will be having southwest monsoon. Can you concentrate on this? See, I am trying to write something called as Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats like this. Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats like this. Like this. Now pay attention. If you concentrate on southwest monsoons, which are coming in June 15 to September 15, concentrate on them. Can you concentrate? Southwest monsoons are coming. They are car carrying moisture from Arabian Sea and soon after they come and hit Western Ghats because of barrier that is present, they cause something called as orographic precipitation or orographic rainfall. In that sense, the Kaveri River is very much present here. Concentrate. The Kaveri River is very much present here like this. Can you concentrate? We can classify this particular whole Kaveri Basin into two. Northern Kaveri Basin and Southern Kaveri Basin. Whatever southwest monsoons they are causing rainfall, the northern Kaveri basin is receiving rainfall because of southwest monsoon. Okay, during during December 15 to March 15, what happens? We receive something called as northeast monsoons, and they are coming from this side. See, concentrate. These are the northeast monsoons like this, and they cause orographic rainfall after hitting eastern Ghats in southern Kaveri basin. In that sense, can I say? This is a very unique point. This is a very unique point where Kaveri receives rainfall from both the monsoons in a year. It receives rainfall from southwest monsoon as well as it receives rainfall from northeast monsoon. That is a very good point 
no other river receives this correctly with uh, both the round, uh, both the rainfalls both the monsoons i hope you understand what it is okay this is about a unique point called as southwest monsoon and northeast monsoon okay now pay attention i have written receives both the monsoons which is a unique uh, uh, thing about kaveri river if i talk about left bank tributaries right bank tributaries i have written all the things we have got harangi hemavati shimsha arkavati chinnar adyar after that right bank tributaries are lakshmana tirth kabhini bhavani noyal amravati and moyar these are the right bank tributaries and this is about kaveri river we need to have clear observation about everything and they are going to ask you the same matters that i have given it in screen concentrate these are the matters that they are very important after that this is also the very important okay after this what do we have i told you about meki datu can you concentrate on this i told you about meki datu also concentrate this is meki datu meki datu is present in ramnagara ramnagara district of karnataka they want to store a uh, water of kaveri there itself for drinking water purpose as a result karnataka government proposed a very good dam called as meki datu that we need to understand after that concentrate see this is about meki datu and then we are moving towards what towards the next river i think so pay attention okay concentrate on this this is very important now pay attention i want to uh, locate all the rivers that are there in peninsula india now pay attention if i want to draw what if i want to draw peninsula india like this can i say this is peninsula india like this okay now pay attention i want to mention all the rivers from here we have got uh, what we have got narmada it is not visible but try to understand it is narmada after that okay pay attention i'll take the other uh, see this is narmada narmada tapi godavari krishna kaveri here we have got subarna reka baitani brahmani mahanadi after that if you concentrate on kaveri we just now discussed about kaveri but concentrate on this there is a river called as north pennar south pennar and there is a river in between them called as palar pennar and palar then south pennar once again there is a river called as kaveri and then one more river that is very much present in tamil nadu is vaigai i hope you understand the locations of important southern indian rivers or peninsula indias they are see narmada and tapi here if you concentrate it is subarna reka brahmani baitani mahanadi then we have got godavari then it is krishna north pennar palar south pennar and then kaveri then vaigai so in that sense what are we trying to read here is pay attention be very careful here pay attention we are concentrating on this particular river concentrate i am trying to draw that one see concentrate this is karnataka karnataka and it is bengaluru if you concentrate on this it is chikballapura chikballapura in chikballapura we have got extension of nandi hills here also nandi hills okay extension of nandi hills here in chikballapura if you have got hills if you have got mountain ranges in that sense it would act like a barrier for the moisture laden wind as a result what do we see we see something called as orographic rainfall because of that because of that rainfall we see three important rivers originating from that three important rivers and they are concentrate i am talking about first river called as pennar pennar now pay attention i am talking about pennar pennar river is also called as pinakini pinakini concentrate pinakini concentrate be very careful from nandi hills of chikkabellapura a stream is originated and that particular stream streams are classified into two one stream is north pennar the other stream is south pennar whatever pennar that we see here pay attention be very careful see from nandi hills chikballapura there is a river continuously originating 
and moving northwards. Can you concentrate on this? This particular river, after originating from Karnataka, enters Andhra, and once again enters Karnataka, and once again enters Andhra. So, in that sense, this particular river cuts Karnataka. How many times? Can I say two times? One time here and two time here. I hope you understand this particular point. This North Penna stream cuts Karnataka two times. After that, it moves towards what? It moves towards Bay of Bengal in this manner. I hope you understand. These are less important uh, rivers and that we need to know that the source point of that and the mouth of that. And the flow, where does it flow, how does it flow? That we need to understand. Okay, in that sense, pay attention. We have got Karnataka. It gets originated from Chikbalapura district, Nandia Hills, in Karnataka itself. Then enters Andhra Pradesh. See, it is like this. Karnataka, then enters Andhra Pradesh, AP. Then once again enters Karnataka. Then once again enters Andhra. Then in Andhra Pradesh, it will try to move towards eastern side and ends itself into what? Bay of Bengal. In that sense, if I talk about mouth of Penna River, pay attention. I'll try to write. I'll try to write the source of source point of this. It is Nandi Hills in Chikkabalapura. Okay. If I talk about mouth, it is in Bay of Bengal. I hope you understand that. If I talk about see North Pennar, we talked about. I want you to concentrate something called as South Pennar. There is one more map for this. Pay attention. Can you concentrate on this? Please concentrate. See what do we have here? With black mark, these are Nandi Hills, which are present in Chikbalapura. And here, can you concentrate? This particular river, we, I am calling it as South Penna River. North Penna River and South Penna River. Penna River is classified into two. One is North Penna River, the other one is called as South Penna River. If you concentrate on North Penna River and its flow, it is originating from Karnataka, Nandi Hills, Chikbalapura. Then it enters Andhra Pradesh. Then once again it enters uh, Karnataka. Then once again it enters Andhra Pradesh and flows eastwards and drains itself into Bay of Bengal. If you concentrate on Southern Pennar, Southern Pennar, it originates from Nandi Hills of Chikabulapura and soon after crossing Karnataka, it enters Tamil Nadu and ends itself into what? Ends itself into Bay of Bengal in a place called as Puducherry. Puducherry is some part of the uh, Puducherry is here also, here also, that we need to understand. This is about it. And this South Pennar is also called as Pennai River. I hope you understand, Pennai. And uh, it is also called as Pennai Yar. Can you concentrate? There are so many uh, synonyms for Penna, Penna River. North Pennar is also called as North Pinakini. South Pennar is also called as South Pinakini. It is also called as Pennai. It is also called as Pennai Yar. I hope you understand that. Soon after that, if you concentrate on the middle river that is present, can you concentrate? The upside Pennar is North Pennar. The downside Pennar is South Pennar. If you concentrate on this particular river, which is also originating from the same place called as Nandi Hills, Chikabalapura. From there, because of rainfall, the streams are originating and this particular river, which is flowing here, that particular river is named after a name called as Palar. Can you concentrate? I am trying to draw that particular map here. See Nandi Hills, I am saying. This is South Pennar, like this. If you concentrate on the same hills, this is a river called as Palar. Palar, North Pennar, South Pennar. I hope you understand this particular point. So, uh, if you concentrate on Palar, the Palar's mouth is present in a Puducherry region and ends itself into Bay of Bengal. That we need to understand. This is the clear picture about the most important matters that we need to observe in the river systems called as North Pennar, Palar and South Pennar. I hope you understand this, this particular point. After this, okay, pay attention, pay attention. Okay, uh, let me see the matter that we have written for these rivers. Okay, concentrate. Be careful. Penna River or uh, Pinakini River, I said. Its origin is in Nandi Hills, Sikbalapura. After that, it originates into two streams. One is 
north pennar the other one is south pennar if you concentrate on this south pennar is also called as pennai and it is also called as pennayar after that if you concentrate on north pennar where does it flow that we need to understand karnataka andhra pradesh and once again karnataka andhra pradesh that we need to understand south pennar if you concentrate it is con uh, moving in karnataka in the beginning after that tamil nadu ends itself into bay of bengal after that mouth i have written bay of bengal okay i hope you understood after that what river do we have palar we discussed about palar also concentrate i told you north pennar south pennar and palar all these three rivers are originating from the same point called as nandi hills chikkabellapura i hope you understand important tributary for palar is called as chayar i hope you understand after that mouth i told you bay of bengal states it is flowing in in the beginning it flows in karnataka then enters andhra pradesh and then enters tamil nadu and ends itself into bay of bengal this is what we have about palar river after that what do we have we have got a very important river of uh, tamil nadu called as vegai concentrate on vegai pay attention see the southern india is like this southern india is like this okay concentrate like this i want to draw uh, kerala here like this kerala after that i want to draw what karnataka like this okay after that i want to draw what i want to draw tamil nadu like this concentrate clearly i am trying to mention something called as a river vaigai and vaigai is originating here in western ghats and then it flows towards bay of bengal in this manner if you concentrate on kaveri the kaveri originated from kodugu talakaveri in western ghats and then it flowed like this in this manner making a big delta near park street i hope you understand but i want to remove kaveri i want to concentrate only on what vaigai river concentrate on vaigai river where does it originate see this particular river originates at a hill complex called as varasanadu hill varasanadu hill complex in what in tamil nadu itself that we need to understand after that the most important uh, city that we have in uh, tamil nadu is madurai madurai as a city is located on the bank of vaigai river that is very 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 important madurai is uh, very much significant when we considering art and culture as a subject art and culture there are so much uh, so many beautiful temples temple architecture that we see in madurai that we need to understand ancient and medieval history it is full of temple architecture and uh, sculptures and uh, potteries we will study about them in ancient history majorly here in sangam literature as well as uh, chola chera pandya we see a very important city called as madurai and that particular madurai is present in tamil nadu and that madurai is present on the bank of vaigai river that we need to understand after that pay attention if you concentrate on kanchipuram also kanchipuram is also very very close to uh, kaveri river if this is kaveri river the kanchipuram is very close to kaveri river i told you about pumpuhar then kanchipuram kanchipuram is also at the bank of kaveri river in tamil nadu okay now pay attention i told you about origin point origin point is varasanadu varasanadu hill complex of western ghats in uh, what periyar plateau consider it i have written here periyar periyar plateau how does it look like see periyar region is present in this manner like this like this this particular region is called as periyar and periyar region is bit elevated when compared to all other sites it has got so many mountain club complexes from there itself the vaigai river originates and it flows towards eastwards towards bay of bengal and this is the most important river considering tamil nadu i hope you understand after that if i talk about mouth then we have something called as what here we have sri lanka then this particular strait is called as pak strait as a result i have written what the mouth of vaigai river is pak strait and the strait that the vaigai basin is extended into the strait is tamil nadu only that we need to remember okay this is about a holistic picture about what all rivers that we have studied today pay attention 
वी हाव स्टडीड अबउट वैगई वी हाव स्टडीड अबउट कवेरी वी हाव स्टडीड अबउट नार्थ नार्थ पेनार देन पालार एंड सउथ पेनार लाइक दिस ई होप यू अंडर्स्ट दीज आर द रिवर्स वी हाव कवर्ड टूडे ओके इन दट सेंस ई होप यू लाइक द वीडियोज कीप वाचिंग we are dealing this particular river in greater depth i hope you understand the depth i'm trying to cover with we are trying to mention everything we are trying to mention all the hydroelectric projects important dams see whenever we try to prepare for a examination we need to know what are the things which are important how can the question come those kind of uh, visualization would and make us understand how to prepare the matter see whatever i have written whatever i have uh, prepared here that is for you i hope you understand that particular point see i have written all the important facts like this why guy if they ask you anything about why guy they are going to ask you these things other than that they are not going to ask you anything the uh, miscellaneous parts like the madurai city is present on the river bank called as why guy that i have explained it here i hope you understand that one after that see concentrate on this ओके पे टेंशन ओके सी इफ आई कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन पालर ऑल्सो देर इज ओनली वन इंपॉर्टेंट ट्रिब्यूटरी देर आर सेवन ट्रिब्यूटरीज बट आई एम मेंशनिंग ओनली वन इंपॉर्टेंट ट्रिब्यूटरी जस्ट बिकॉज दट इज द ओनली वन ट्रिब्यूटरी विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर पालर रिवर फॉर आर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट आफ्टर दैट ओरिजिन आई हैव रिटर्न माउथ आई हैव रिटर्न स्टेज दैट इट इज एक्सटेंडेड इन टू दैट आई हैव रिटर्न दीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स Okay, pay attention. After that, Pennar or Pinakini, that I have written. North stream, south stream. We are the where they are originating and where they are moving. Everything I have written. After that, I have shown you the pictographic view of all the rivers like this. In every uh, river systems, I am trying to show this pictographic maps. I hope you understand the efforts we are uh, making to make you understand. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.